Join us as we assemble a Benchtop Pro ready to assemble machine kit from CNC Router Parts. We will be assembling one of our most popular configurations, the Benchtop Pro Mechanical Kit with our NEMA 23 Plug and Play Electronic System. Assembly for this complete machine kit will take between 3 and 5 hours. You'll need to budget extra time if you're building your own electronics. We'll need a metric wrench set, a scraper, and a measuring tape. Carefully remove the labels from the axis mating surfaces. The first step is to assemble the legs. There are four of these in two different mounting configurations. We'll use the axis interface plate to help keep things flush. With the legs completed, we can set them aside and work on the main base. Assembling the x-axis cross members is one of the most important steps. It's important that the concentric pushing on each axis is oriented up as shown in the illustration. I find it helpful to pre-assemble the anchor fasteners before positioning the cross members. Now we can slide the completed anchor fasteners into their relative positions on one of the x-axis. As we assemble the cross members, we will measure and set them 6.3 inches apart. We can make minor adjustments later on, if needed. Now we'll do the same on the other x-axis. We'll slide the anchor fasteners in, and finally rotate both x-axes and join the cross members. We'll again measure 6.3 inches for the cross members. Positioning the base upside down, we can now install the legs. The roll-in T-nuts can be a bit fiddly. We'll use a screwdriver to help align them. We have gravity working for us on the front legs, but it still helps to pre-position the roll-in T-nuts. With the legs installed, we can return the machine to an upright position and install the wipers. Now we'll install the riser plates. These bolt into the interface mating surfaces of each x-axis. We'll loosely thread the bolt and T-nuts to the top holes. This will ensure that the gantry assembly can slide on easily. And we'll redo the same steps for the other side. Next we'll build the gantry support assembly. We'll begin by loosely attaching the button head and T-nut fasteners. And slide the extrusion past the T-nut fasteners and ensure that the access holes for the two button head screws are facing the correct way. We'll ensure that the extrusion is flush and square and then tighten the fasteners and repeat the same steps on the other side. Next, we'll loosely secure the T-nuts to the gantry support plate. We'll now mount the completed gantry support assembly on the riser plates. To do this, we slide the completed gantry support assembly from the top. 
Ensure that the top of the gantry support assembly is flush with the top of the riser plate. There are multiple methods of installing the gantry. We recommend you use a helper and progressively slide the gantry past the pre-assembled T-nut fasteners. We'll position the gantry Y-axis so that the end of the axis is one inch from the riser plate and tighten the fasteners to secure the axis. Next we'll install the Z-axis. We'll manually move the Y-axis to ensure the installed Z-axis does not interfere with the rails below. And secure the Z-axis to the interface plate. We'll use a piece of the tabletop extrusion to mark where the roll and T-nut fasteners should go. Before we mount the tabletop, this is a good time to make sure that the cross member bolts are securely fastened and make any adjustments as needed. Now we'll install the roll and T-nuts using the marks we previously made. and securely fasten the tabletop extrusion to the cross members. We've completed assembly of the mechanical kit. The machine is now ready for your choice at NEMA 23 or NEMA 34 plug and play or do it yourself electronics. We'll be using NEMA 23 motors from our NEMA 23 plug and play electronic system. The steps for NEMA 34 motors are similar and they mount to the same plates. We'll begin by installing the coupler and tightening the ball screw end. And installing the motor into the mounting plate. And ensure both sides of the coupler are tight. Next we install the other X-axis motor. With its dual drive gantry architecture, this machine has four motors. Two X, one Y, and one Z. When used with our plug and play electronics or XML configuration files, this side of the axis is referred to as X prime or slave. Install the motor and tighten both sides of the coupler. and we follow the same steps again for the Y-axis motor. And finally, we installed the Z-axis motor. Next we'll install the homing switch kit. There are three homing switches, one for the Y axis and two for the X axis. We'll thread the sensor midway through the plate and secure with two lock nuts.
For each of the x-axis, it's important that we install the sensor the same approximate number of turns. This will ensure that the gantry will square properly during homing. We'll follow the same process for the other x-axis, threading the sensor in the same approximate number of turns and securing with the lock nuts. Now we'll install the cable track supports. Starting with the z-axis plate, we'll thread this from the bottom. and install the plate by the Y-axis coupler. And install the lower bracket to the inside of the X-axis interface plate. And we'll mount the 90 degree bracket to the opposite rear leg. We're on the home stretch now, and it's time to add the cable track. We'll start with the Y axis cable track, and we'll mount this empty since there's only a couple cables to run. We'll save some time by pre installing the cables in the X axis cable track. Now we'll open and install the cables in the Y-axis cable track. And connect and route the Z-axis motor cable. and now the router power cable. We'll connect the Y-axis motor cable and route it and the cables coming from the Y-axis cable track through the lower X-axis cable track. With the cables routed, we can now close our x-axis cable track. And we'll secure the track to the two lower cable track brackets. We'll use a piece of drinking straw to help position and hold the roll-in T-nuts while we mount and tram the base adapter plate. We'll use the locating pins of the base adapter to square before tightening. We'll raise the base adapter plate on the Z-axis so that the collet nut of the router is just at or below the bottom of the Z-axis. We can now bolt on our router mount to the base adapter plate. Note that mounts for a variety of commonly used routers and spindles are available on our website. We'll install the router. And secure using the locking bolts. Now we're ready to connect our control box from the NEMA 23 plug and play electronic system. A typical benchtop Pro consists of four driven axes. First, we'll connect the emergency stop switch to the e-stop port. You can connect multiple e-stop switches through pass-through connections. We'll connect the x-axis homing switch to x-minus. 
and the other x-axis homing switch to slate. We'll connect y-axis homing switch to y minus. We'll connect our auto-z touch plate to z minus. We'll connect our x-axis motor cable to x. We'll connect the x-slaved axis to slaved. And connect the y-axis motor cable to y. And we'll connect the z-axis motor cable to z. We'll connect the router power cable to relay one out and line power to relay one in. We'll connect our CNC computer to the ethernet port on the control box. And finally, we'll connect line power to the control box and engage the master switch. We should hear the fans and motors energize. We've completed the assembly of the Benchtop Pro CNC machine. The machine is now ready for your choice of dust collection, spoil board, and programming to get started on your first project. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this video helpful. For pricing and more information on this and other ready to assemble machine kits, visit our website at www.cncrouterparts.com.